if you're happy and you know it, then you really ought to show it. If you're happy and you know it, how do you know if you're happy? And is it the little things that make you happy or the big things? And it's interesting because we get wrapped up, I think, in the big things. I've got to have a great career or business. And of course, that's awesome. I've got to be financially free. And of course, life's much better if, if you are. I've got to get a great education. And of course, life is much better when you're learning and training and educating every day. But the little things, do they count? And there's a great question about little things if you think that they're not important. Uh, if you're in a tent with one mosquito, then you'll know that little things can make a really big difference. Uh, I've got behind me the I Love Formula One. And there's some really big things that make a Formula One team work. But you only need to have one tiny thing go wrong in a, in a Formula One car. It could be a wheel nut. Uh, it could be one degree of temperature. It could be one second in a, in a pit uh, stop and the whole race is, is ruined. One tiny little thing. So what's more important? Is it the little things or the big things? And is it possible that the little things, if we get them right, they will help with the bigger things? The reverse of that is I know lots of people that focus on the little things. They then forget about the big things or they're so focused on the little things that the big things never get done. So some people make their bed and they have clean fingernails and they brush their teeth and they've got a clean house, but they don't do anything else with their life. The reverse of that is that people want to have a great life and a great career and be a billionaire, but they don't make their bed and they don't brush their teeth and they've got dirty fingernails and wonder why the process doesn't work effectively. So here's a great question. Could it be a really good idea to focus on the little things and the big things? Is it possible that yes, the little things will help make the big things happen, but is it all about one step at a time? So if I've got, um, and the time is the most important thing, we've only got 24 hours. So when you're putting your time management plan together, I always ask this question, is it really important? What I'm doing right now, is it really important to helping me achieve my goals? And if you, if you leave your house and you haven't made your bed and that makes you feel uncomfortable or you, you feel like you, you haven't completed your morning effectively because you haven't made your bed, could that affect the rest of the day? So what I'm doing right now, is it heading me towards my goal or away, my, or away from my goals? If the mundane daily things that I do are stopping me from achieving my big goal, so I'm using them as a procrastination tool, and I use that just as, again, as a simple example, what's the use of having a clean fridge if you haven't got a bank account that's providing you with financial freedom? The reverse of that, if you've got a clean fridge, uh, could that make you feel better about yourself so that you go out and do more effective things and you do, uh, your life is more productive? And I think all of those things are really personal. So having somebody tell you, it doesn't matter if you've got a dirty fridge or you don't make your bed or you've got dirty fingernails, you've got to focus on the big things. But you need to do the little things to make you feel good about the big things. And I'm just, this is a very personal thing for me. But I never do the big things until I've got the little things done. So I never leave my house until I've exercised, I'm hydrated, I've obviously dressed, uh, my house is spotlessly clean. I don't, I don't go and do anything else in the world until everything that, that, are, that is important to me has already been done. Because for me to, and I always use the example, I, if I don't look after me first, how can I look after everybody else? I live and breathe the analogy of when you travel on a plane, they, the strict rule is if the mask falls out of the ceiling and you need to take oxygen in, you have to take the oxygen first before you can help other people. You can't help the kids, you can't help the old people, you can't help your friends and family if you're not breathing. And that's how I live my life and everybody can live their life differently. But I am very uh, energetic and enthusiastic and excited about going out into the world because I've done everything for me first. So my personal development, my, my personal care, my home, my family is all looked after before I leave my house so that when I leave my house and go out into the world, I can look after the people in the world because I've looked after me first. Now that's just a very personal thing. What I do know is that when, because I'm in a room now filled with sports people, Every sports person that I've spoken to that is not just, a, they're really good at what they do, but they're a world champion or a multiple world champion, 
they share with me very passionately that they focus on the little things and the big things. That yes, if you want to win a grand final, you have to focus on being fit, being strong, being able to kick or punch or or run fast or pass the ball effectively. You have to work on all the skills before you think about the grand final. So the big picture is the grand final or the big picture is the world championship or the big picture is the gold medal, but you have to focus on the small things to get to the big things first. So before you let somebody tell you how to live your life, how about a self analyzation my favorite word that doesn't exist, but I love it. What's gonna make you feel good about you so that you can go and do the things that you need to do? If, it, if you can leave your house and your, and your beds are not made or you, your fridge is dirty or you haven't hung the washing on the line and you can still go out and be a productive person, then you wouldn't let those little things affect your life. But if you have to get those things right before you can go and do the big things, uh, then here's the, here's the challenge. You never want to have an excuse. You never want to have a justification. You never want to be able to say, I didn't because... So whatever you have to do to make sure that your big things get achieved, could that be the thing that you need to analyze? What are the things that I need to do to make sure that my big goal gets achieved? So I'll ask the question again when it comes to, and I hate the word time management, because management means that you're managing something. I'd rather get excited about it. Uh, everything I'm doing right now, is it heading me towards my goal or away from my goal? And I think that's a really cool question to ask. If I'm uh, cleaning my fridge, is that a goal? Is that something that's gonna head me towards my goal or is it detracting me from my goal? If I'm exercising, is that heading me towards my goal or am I using that as an excuse not to go and achieve my big goals? Because there are a lot of people who spend a lot of time exercising, a lot of time exercising, and they're at the gym for hours and hours, and uh, this is the, the reason why Max exists, why Romax exists, why, why I live on a day-to-day -day basis. Because I would love everybody to be healthy, fit and strong, have a career or business that they love, be financially free and have great people in their life. But there's a, I'm sure that you've met people, many people like I have, who they invest a lot of time in their health and fitness, but they've got a lousy, stinking, rotten job. Or they've got a, a fantastic career and they're earning lots of money, but they're really unhealthy. Or they've got a fantastic business or career, but they have no family life because they're always focusing on their business. Uh, I would love everybody to have that balanced life. And of course, that's not up to me because everybody gets to choose what they want to do. But whatever it is that you want to do is what you're doing right now helping you achieve your goal or is it holding you back? And could that be the ultimate question? And here's the ultimate response to the, or the answer to that question. If what I'm doing right now is not heading me towards my big goals, then best I stop doing it and focus on the stuff that does. Because if you really want to live your life to the max, then is it possible that you want to achieve, not just achieve your big goals, but achieve them uh, with passion, enthusiasm, and excitement, and then go on to achieve even more? And there's another great question. If I achieve my big goals, is it possible that I'll set even bigger goals and I can achieve more stuff? If I focus on the little stuff and I just waste time making excuses, not doing the things that I, that I need to do to achieve my big goals, then nothing gets done. So you wanna live your life to the max, do the little things and the big things and live your life to the max. Super duper doo, how are you living my life?